In this video, we'll learn to order, approximate, and compare decimals. So I've got five decimals here, 4.36, 4.368, 42.6, 0 0.72, 0 0.274. So I'll compare them. If I'm to compare these two, which one would be the biggest one? So this is 4.36, and if it was money, it would be four pounds and 36 pence. Whereas this would be four pounds and thirty six pence, and also eight tenths of pennies. Now we don't have a coin to represent that, but it means an extra amount, and you can see this in petrol stations or in the bank. So it is less than a penny, but it is extra. So it's more than we have in here. So in this case, having three digits after the decimal point, it means that the number is bigger but that's not always the case so sometimes you'd have a decimal with fewer digits like 4.5 and 4.5 means four and a half so that's bigger than this one so between these two decimals the first two this is bigger so this is smaller then we have 42.6 so that's bigger than these two because we have 42 whole ones, if it was money, it'd be 42 pounds and then 60 pence. This is minus or negative 0 0.72. So this is much smaller than any of the positive numbers we have here. Because if it has a negative, it means it's a smaller number. And we've looked at that in um, thermometers or number lines. And then we have 0 0.274, so that means zero hold ones, so that's smaller than any of these three. So I'll start off with this one because this is the smallest, it's a negative, so minus 0 0.72, because we ordered them from the smallest to the biggest. And then the next biggest one would be this one because it has zero whole, whole ones whereas this one has four to do this is four and this is four so zero point zero point two seven four and then that would come between them three we discussed these two were smaller than that so this is going to be the next one 4.36 and then 4.368 and finally 42.6 so we've ordered them from the smallest to the biggest so always first look at the whole number the bigger the whole number the better if it's a positive that should come before a negative in terms of the biggest. And then we look at the decimals. We look at the digits after the decimals. So the next digit after the decimal has a bigger value than the, the one on the right of it. So these start decreasing in value. So we look at the whole number first and then the first digit after the small point and then the second digit and then third digit and so on. Now we'll try and round or approximate a decimal. I've picked one of these 4.368 to the nearest whole number so that we get rid of the decimal. We have a whole number, no decimal point, no digits after it. So is it going to be a four or a five? Because this is between four and five. So it is 4.368, so we look at the one next to it on the right. That's a 3, which suggests we stay down, because we've said if it's 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, then we round down. So this is going to stay as 4. It won't go up to 5. If it was a 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, then this would be rounded to 5. Now looking at rounding to the nearest tenth, or one decimal place because it means the same thing so that's the tenth because we need ten of them to make a whole and it's one decimal place because it's one digit after the decimal point so we need to round to, up to this point so get rid of the six and the eight but the six impacts this so 
it's a six, so we're going to round up. So this is going to be 4.4. Now to the nearest hundredth, because we need a hundred of the these units in there, a hundred of these coins, a hundred of any one that might be here to make a hole. So that is six hundredths in there. So we're going to have to round up to this point. So we get rid of the eight. So we have only two digits after the decimal point. So that impacted though. So this means that this is going to be rounded to seven. So 4.37. And the thousandth, to the nearest thousandth, it's this digit that represents it. So we need a thousand of any one digit that is here to make a hole. So we round again to three decimal places. We haven't got a digit here to impact it, but we know that when there isn't no digit, it's a zero. So that means we're going to round down. So this is going to stay as 4.368 as it is. So this has shown you how to order, approximate and compare decimals up to three decimal places.